As you're diving into OneNote and you're discovering all these really cool features, a lot of times I have a lot of people ask me, what are some of the things that I can do to help speed up my processes? And one of those things you can do is set a default template in each section. What this allows you to do is every time that you are in that section and you create a new page, it uses the default template as that new page. Let me show you how that works. So I can go ahead and go into my OneNote. I'm going to add a new section. I'm going to call it Nielsville project. And inside here, you can see I have a blank page. Now, if I hit add page, it just creates another blank page for me. But I can go into my tiles. And that's what's really cool about the key success planner is we have all these customized tiles for projects, life balance, SWOT analysis, note taking, you won't believe the number of tiles that we have. And you don't need to use our planner to be able to utilize these tiles. What tiles are is individual elements. And you can see all the different elements that are here inside this project tile. And it allows us to create some customized project pages. And here's a handful of those project pages. Now I can write in these pages and I can even type on these pages. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this project page here and hit copy. I'm gonna go back to my section. I'm gonna paste that page. Now you can see that that page is in my OneNote section. Now I could continue to go ahead and just copy and paste more pages, but as time goes on, I might want to find a way to improve and speed up that process. Well, if I right click on that page and hit set as default template, now what happens when I go ahead and choose add page, it adds another one of those pages and I can continue to add more pages of this project template because I set it as my default. Now, as you do this, you might get a dialog box that pops up that'll ask if you wanna make this a systematic change. You can choose yes for this instant and you can choose always and that'll make it so it always happen or you can cancel the operation. But that is how you set the default page. Now, you might be in a position that you wanna go back to a new page well, how do you go back to having that new page be blank? Well, a couple options. If you kept one of those pages in your section or somewhere else in your notebook, you can easily just click on it and hit set as default template. And then moving forward, anytime you do a new page there, it's gonna paste that particular page. If you don't have access to a new page and you can't find one inside your current notebook, go ahead, just create a new notebook. That'll have a default page as new copy that page, bring it into this notebook, and set that page as default. Now this gets really powerful because I can go ahead and continue to use several different tiles. And one tile I wanna show you is the Cornell notes. If you know anything about the Cornell method of note taking, it's really a good way for you to be able to take notes and be able to leave information on the side of your notes as kind of like either indicators or tags or ways to help you just have cues in your note taking. So I can go ahead and I can copy that page. I can go into my note pages. I could paste that page. And right now you can see that sample note pages there. Again, I could set that as default. And then moving forward, any additional page I add to this section is now my template by default. So there you go, that is how you set default pages as templates inside your OneNote notebooks. One little thing to note is you need to set it per section. It won't be systematic across the entire notebook. Just that little bit of tip. And if this tip was helpful for you or anything throughout this video was helpful, please do me a favor and like this video so others can enjoy this content. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more of it and hit the bell for notifications as we continue to release content about our planning system, technology, and how to be more productive each and every day. I'm Brandon Bonifer, creator and founder of the Key to Success Planner. And you wanna learn more about that, check out the description, but Lord willing, we'll see you guys in the next video.